In this video, we're going to take a look at a review of how to multiply and divide fractions in order to set up multiplying and dividing of rational expressions, which means we're going to break down the steps very clearly, even showing what you would probably do with mental math normally, because the pattern is going to set us up for the rational expressions. So with multiplying fractions, we know to multiply, we first, as a shortcut, will divide out the common factors so that it's easier to multiply across. Multiply the numerators together and multiply the denominators together. Now division's exactly the same, you'll recall, with one extra step at the beginning is we change it to a multiplication problem by multiplying by the reciprocal. So for example, if we saw 6 over 35, times 21 over 10, we would first start looking for common factors that we could divide out of the numerator and denominator. And to help us identify that, we'll factor each of these numbers. 6 is 2 times 3 over 35 is 5 times 7, and we're multiplying by 21 is 3 times 7, and 10 is 2 times 5. And when we look at this in factored form, we can divide common factors out of both the numerator and denominator. There's a 2 in one numerator and one denominator. There's also a 7 in numerators and denominators. Now we've got 3's that are both in the numerator. Those cannot divide out because they're both in the numerator. We always have to do top and bottom when we reduce. So all that's left to do is multiply across. 3 times 3 is 9 over 5 times 5 is 25, and so these fractions are going to multiply to 9 25ths. Let's try another example. This one, division, 5 eighths divided by 10 thirds. We know we can quickly change this to multiplication by multiplying by the reciprocal of the 10 thirds, so that would be 5 eighths times, now it's 3 tenths, multiplying by the reciprocal, and then we can go through the same process. Five is prime, so it can't factor. Um, 8, that's 2 times 4, and 4 is 2 times 2, so we've really got 2 times 2 times 2. There's a lot of 2's in there. Times 3, we can't really do anything with, it's prime. But 10 is 2 times 5. And now we can see the common factor that divides out. We can divide out the 5's. When we do, what's left is a 3 in the numerator, and a whole bunch of stuff in the denominator. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 4, times, I'm uh, sorry, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. And so for our final answer, we have 3 over 16. What's important that we see here is that first we divided out the common factors, and then multiplied across. And of course, with division, we had to change it to multiplying by the reciprocal. This is how we divide fractions. We're going to extend this to see how we divide rational expressions.